All right. I bought this actually over a year ago, and I started doing the video over a year ago, and I'm not sure if I feel like going to find that video to reuse that footage. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If I do, then you'll never even hear me say this. Uh. And here is your Think Tool, Think Car Kit. card and manual <sighs> what do we got it's a VGA interesting maybe it's using for data Uses we got adapters. Yeah, see so this, this. You can see I've opened this before. I guess this is for probably older cars. Older OBD things, maybe. Things I'm never going to use them. into the cars and I do remote and why do they got everything so damn tight damn that's an old cable I wonder what you would be plugging into there Here's the device. I bet you it doesn't have a charge on it anymore.
Alright, let's see if it still turns on after sitting so long. Oh, and it do. Oh, it do. It turned on. Oh, we gotta hook it up to Wi Fi and all that, huh? It might already be. It's gonna be Android or OS. Oh, 97% charge right they're sitting off for that long that seems crazy uh, I don't know if I missed anything all right so I'm gonna have to do a new registration Update APK. Yeah, definitely Android. Um, ran into a major issue trying to register this because it's not clear. You come in to register, it asks you a username, the password you want to use, you must use an ampersign, which is just makes no freaking sense at all. Uh, you have to use a letter. It doesn't matter if you're uppercase, lowercase. It has to be a letter, a number, ampersign or an underscore and the underscore you can't find on the keyboard so you might as well just stick with the ampersign which is so stupid and then it says captcha and email address now what doesn't make any sense is it's not telling you that it's going to email you the code that goes in the captcha thing so I sat there for like 30 minutes trying to figure that out. And I'm just sitting there slamming, slamming, slamming the um the captcha thing. And I, and I look over my phone and I see verification code, verification code, verification code, verification code, verification code. <laughs> it's like, oh gee. So yeah. Power balance test. Cylinder seven and eight are the strongest. We could test things like the air suspension, the turn on the compressor. Turn on. Let's see what else we got here. Right spring solenoid. What does that do? Let's see. I hear it clicking. I don't know what it does if that lets air out. I assume that lets air out to, to level the car. I assume. I didn't know there was a left right on this. Let's see. I hear those clicking. It doesn't show the PSI. Oh, vent solenoid. Oh, this is the one that lets the air out. That one's at the front, I believe. Yeah, I hear it venting out front. Oh, various things you can do. Air suspension warning light. Oh, let's see if we can get that to turn on. And off. And it's off. Cool. Let's add some more air. Too bad it doesn't know PSI. 